But of course, there's going to be a transition phase. And in this transition phase, a lot of people are going to be having a very hard time, especially if they go into this unprepared, if they hold on to the mainstream narrative that all of this won't go so fast, that our world will not be upset so fast. That is an illusion. It's an illusion and people need to let go of it and we need to start planning for the future. <laughs> Everybody, it's me, some Metaverse. I haven't been out of bed very long. I haven't even had my coffee yet, but I just quickly wanted to discuss this with you guys because last night before I went to bed, I saw this post by Brad Adcock and I'm going to share that with you here. For those of you that don't know, Brad Adcock is actually the founder at Figure, Figure Robot, which is the company behind the Figure 1 and the Figure 2 robot. By the way, this is the Figure 2. These robots are already being trained in Germany in a factory by BMW, for example, in Spartanburg, trained to replace humans or do the labor that currently is being done by humans in BMW factories. I talk about robotics a lot and how this is going to have a major impact on the global economy. People really often underestimate the speed at which these robots will move into jobs, into the, the job market market alongside humans and ultimately replacing humans. Just to give you an idea, Brad, the founder of Figure, posted last night on LinkedIn, I'm excited to share Figure has signed our second commercial customer. We now see potential of shipping 100,000 humanoid robots. See, so that means that just quickly analyzing this, they expect in this year, 2025, this company alone, which is one of many companies building humanoid robots, to ship 100,000 robots. Now, let's say that it takes them a little longer. Let's say that it runs into next year. But ultimately, I think this is very very indicative of the trend of humanoid robots and how fast it's going to progress. And so I made this LinkedIn post myself taking Brad's post where I said, well, here's my rough estimate for figure ramping. 100,000 in 2025, half a million in uh, 2026. Oh, I made a, a typo there. 2 million in uh, 2027, 6 million in 2028, 20 million in 2029, and then 60 million in 2030. I, so I didn't realize I made this typo last night. <laughs> But let's say 2031, they will be pushing out 150 million robots. And that's just figure, right? So by 2030, and this one I wrote correctly, I wouldn't be surprised if considering there's, you know, more than six different companies building humanoid robots, including Tesla with their Optimus, we shouldn't be surprised if by 2030, there will be more than half a billion robots walking on the earth and if not close at least close to half a billion robots in the job market in the west in asia in a a america and even in europe and possibly some other parts of the world maybe maybe even more maybe less i i can't tell but there's going to be half a billion extra people on the on the job market and a lot of them are going to be working 24 7 because they don't need to sleep they don't need coffee breaks they don't take holidays they don't complain they don't need hr they don't care about pronouns i put that in as a little joke they don't feel discriminated you know they don't oversleep they don't get pregnant they don't have burnouts, they don't want part-time, they don't need to work remote. So this is something that is going to happen. There's no way it's, it's not going to happen. And people really need to start preparing. I think ultimately it will be a good thing. I think it will lead to a completely restructurized kind of global economy where a lot of people will be able to basically do whatever they want to do, won't need to work because we'll find out a way to basically use AI and robotics to, to bankroll, bankroll all of that. But of course, there's going to be a trans transition phase. And in this transition phase, a lot of people are going to be having a very hard time, especially if they go into this unprepared, if they hold on to the mainstream narrative that all of this won't go so fast, that our world will not be upset so fast. That is an illusion. It's an illusion and people need to let go of it and we need to start planning for the future. Just wanted to quickly share this with you. That's it for now. Mr. Metaverse signing off and I'd like to say in the Netherlands, see you later. Oh, and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Talk to you later.